What is up, you guys? It's Bolton98, and we have so much Call of Duty stuff to talk about, including all of our reveal event rewards, and Modern Warfare 3 Vault Edition has officially dropped. First thing, let's go ahead and talk about our rewards that we got for doing the Shadow Company versus Task Force 141 rewards. We did get those rewards. If you haven't yet seen them, just go look. We have the Blood Cell Camo. If you go in your event camo, it's in there. Uh, you just have to click events and it'll pop up. Also, your skin is there. Now, the only confusing thing was about this skin was it a bit hard to find because this is third row by itself in uh, the Harange uh, area or skin area. So that was the only confusing part about it. But and then there was no actual notification that we unlocked these skins or camos. It was just kind of there. You just had to look for it and find it yourself. But there was no like confirmation like yeah the the rewards are out you did it the only thing we really got today when we logged in was this then we cut into this activision screen that we see and then of course after that screen we look at this with the press a to start call of duty meaning that that red is showing up now meaning modern warfare 3 is getting closer and closer to us and we have a lot more news toward the end of this video about that but let's go ahead and talk about our reveal event rewards that will be coming through tomorrow's event and i cannot be more ecstatic about this event it's been something that we've been waiting for to come out and now it's finally actually dropping so like we discussed tomorrow's the event and we do have up to i think six rewards or five rewards and one is the m13c um but the only thing about this m13c that you'll see in this picture here is that we're not actually getting this m13c no we are going to be getting the m13c uh from a blueprint that is shadow she uh, shadow company blueprint m13c so it should look a lot cooler also these are the other five rewards that we get on top of the m13c some emblems calling cards uh you know charms a battle pass token and a weapon a uh, vehicle skin also in 13 days that is when our season five reloaded goes out we should get that extra classified spot opened up on our battle pass i heard a lot of people talking about that on my tiktok page so i wanted to go ahead and cover it here just in case any of you guys were wondering now we get over to our mw3 vault edition yes yeah, so we have the mw3 vault edition has been confirmed and apparently this will include a price ghost warden and mackerel operator so we are confirmed to have those four operators but also you see a pre-purchase soap pack which is automatically an immediate availability to modern warfare 2 yes so your pre-purchase soap pack uh i think last year we got the pre-purchase ghost and all those other skins with the pre-purchase um this one gives you this soap skin and apparently you can actually use this immediately in modern warfare 2 right now so as soon as the event goes up and i'm assuming they're going to give us the option to purchase the vault edition later you'll be able to use this uh soap skin in modern warfare 2 like pretty much instantly which is pretty insane um, so I can't wait to see how many people actually rock this skin. I might be getting it myself, but I want to see what you guys think. Is it worth it or not? Um, and I guess this is where the carry forward kind of plays a part and helps because now you get to bring that soap skin into Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. But I really want to know what you guys think about all this, uh, you know, with the rewards. Do you think they're pretty good rewards? Do you think the vault edition already being late do you think it's gonna be a good vault edition or do we think maybe they could have done better um are there things you would have worked on they also have two weapon um vaults i don't know what that means maybe it's a vault for like mw2 weapons and then a vault for mw3 and maybe you can't use cross attachments or something like that i guess i guess we'll never really know until we actually play modern warfare 3 and get our hands on the beta and everything we're not even the beta because modern warfare 2 weapons won't be cross compatible until after the beta so we're not really sure until the actual game comes out november 10th but let me know what you guys think down below of everything we talked about in this video and of course i'll see you in the next one peace out enjoy the event tomorrow i will have the video if you don't make it to it i think it goes through thursday to friday but if it doesn't i will have the video up on my channel so make sure you sub like and i'll see you in the next one peace